Hello. Friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Thank you for joining me in this very difficult time. Once again, once a day, every day, turn on the machines and live forever. Here we go. It's another day. John Webster, where are you? Call me, 360-836-4384. YouTube viewers, I want to talk to you. This is a new lamp. I don't remember that. Whoa. I don't remember that lamp before. Could be new. Could be, have been there for a long time. I'm going to walk it off with my head, and now it looks like my head is glowing. Look how radiant I am today. So radiant, it's like this. Whoa, whoa. Sorry if I want to say, hey, viewers, whoa, oh, you're going to get blinded a little bit. I, I didn't know. I didn't know that I, we were going to get this far. You know, maybe I should have been planning something yesterday. Like, I had a good I did 24 hours to plan this today's day. And, and look at me go again. No planning. I should have planned. Now what am I going to do? We got an hour to do stuff, and what? What is this thing? What? What are we doing? What am I doing here? What am I doing? Um, yesterday was Sunday. I did the program here with Jackson and Jen and Freddie at about. Um, uh, let's see. The clock over here is gonna help me know what time I did it yesterday. But I did the show probably. Around six, five or six, and they were all here, and you know how it goes. One day four, one day one, one day four, two days one. But that's okay. I guess it was the weekend. I don't know if I try to call Mr. Ginsu before it's too late. Because he left a lot of messages. So, Gene, Gene, it's too late for you, but Mr. Gintu, it's kind of getting too late for you, so I'm going to call you before. Yeah, Mr. Gintu and Mark, the guitar player, but Mr. Gintu left 11 messages yesterday that I didn't listen to, so maybe we, before we listen to any of his messages, we should just call him and say, Mr. Gintu, uh, I'm going to call you early before we listen to your messages just to get. Uh, you know, a hold of you. I'm telling you, I'm calling you. I'm going to listen to 11 of those messages today, maybe. But uh, I don't want to get this call in to Mr. Ginsey before it's too late. Kick it off. Kicking things off today. With the call to Mr. Ginsey. Say, Mr. Ginsey, you awake? It's 8.40. I ought to be awake still. What yep. the fuck? Uh, you awake, Mr. Gintz? Is it too late? Nope. Not nope. too late. Awake, huh? Yep. I thought I'd try to call you before like nine o'clock, right? Yep, yep. Yeah. I appreciate it. How are ya? I'm doing pretty good. Feel pretty good. Yeah? Yep. Minimal on the pain of any. <laughs> yeah, medium back pain, only a little bit. Less than yep, normal. Yep. That's just good. Just a little teeny bit. Nothing to speak of please. Could be worse, huh? Fucking you ain't you fucking some sort of genius or something? Some people say. What the I've, fuck? I've been How told. Uh, yeah, I guess it could have been a little worse. What are you oh, doing? Oh fuck. What? Then <laughs> my uncle fucking he's <laughs> shit about fucking jumping on that other person in the old company. Your uncle's jumping on somebody? Yep. 
And then fucking he wants me to go down there and help him. Help him jump somebody? Yep. Yeah. Is that gonna work? That's not good. Well, I'm supposed to do the jumping things. Really? Yeah. And he's not gonna do shit. <laughs> not even a little jumping? No. Why, what? Walk. Uh huh. Walk. What did this person do? I don't fucking know. Nothing. That's probably the problem. Oh, they didn't do the, They were supposed to do something and they didn't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they're gonna get jumped. Jump like that. Do they know? Where they go? Fuck me. No way. Fuck me. Well, well, your well, your uncle's in, mine, huh? yeah. Your uncle's involved something in something nefarious. Um, uh, are, are you uh, are you ready? He's ready. He's looking behind his shoulders all the time though to get jumped. So it's hard to jump somebody who's ready to be jumped. Um, not really. <laughs> no. Not really. But you can try to sneak up on him or. Fuck no. It's that fucking candy ass motherfucker. What? Oh yeah. Oh. What? What does jumping on somebody entail? Like you're gonna hurt them? I don't fucking know. Jump on them. <laughs> like, what does that mean? It's like that's a. I don't know, man. I mm -hmm. just can't fucking remember. You're gonna break break their knees. I can't remember. Break their kneecaps. Hit them. Are you, are you trying to make me admit something? That yeah. Fucking, <laughs> yes. He straight up fucking says yes. Oh, yeah. Fucking what the fuck? You yeah. got no sense of fucking going around the fucking bush. Fucking, you go right through the stickers. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to break through the sticker bushes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna yeah break some knees. Somebody owes you money. I fucking did that for myself, actually. You broke your own knees? No, I blasted through sticker bushes. Oh <laughs> yeah. Kidding. But it turned out I went fuck it. I was wearing the perfect pants for that shit. Fucking, I didn't feel a thing. <laughs> sticker pants. <That's>, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Thick. They got they had these fucking um they were work pants for me, but they're like logger pants and fucking mm -hmm. Yeah, they had chaps in them. Jumping pants. If you wanna jump somebody you gotta get thick pants. And if, if you get fucking chaps, fucking it really helps. It's like you can run right through them bigger bitches. Uh Ch chaps for jumping, but then you're not very agile. Um, I'm very agile. Uh, even with the pants, even with thick pants. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. Especially with, there's actually quite a lot of room in them pants. Yeah, yeah, Especially but you you don't want like room. Me. You want tight huh? tight pants. Those are your jumping pants. Hey, these ain't no yogurt pants. These are fucking real pants. Fucking. Yeah. I mean, them things are real too. Real fucking sexy. Fucking yogurt pants. God damn. These are not not sexy pants. Attack attack pants. That's right. That's right. They're attack. Get to work. Wear your so sexy run, pants under your attack them, pants. Look, go run through them devil's clubs and fucking sticker bushes and go get that wood. Go get that wood, okay. attack that guy, anything. Um, take this cable and run straight down the mountain yeah. to that truck over there, to that fucking stump over there. And uh, follow this guy with that, who's running that cable down. Just follow that guy running that cable, follow that cable and... When you hit the end of it, you give them your cable, they'll hook your cable to the cable that's already going down the hill, and then you start running like a motherfucker to that stump over there. 
and don't, and just run in a straight line. Do not fucking go around anything. Just go up, down, over, fucking. Do not fucking stop. Yeah. Just run, run. And that's setting chokers and uh, or setting the uh, fucking main line on the fucking cable. Uh, setting, resetting the cable on them fucking things. I tried to move this one cable. Oh, fuck. Uh-huh. Not a, not a chance. You, the cable did not want to move. It was a stuck cable, that, huh? That cable was fat. A big, fat fucking cable. Yeah. And I, I only had to move the first fucking uh, 20 feet of it or something, and maybe 10 feet of it, and there weren't no way I was getting that done. It was a heavy cable. Oh, yeah, they had this big monster of a guy out there fucking, uh, he had to do it. <laughs> it's a good thing he was there, because otherwise that job was getting done. Uh, not by at least one guy. They would have, have like eight guys out there if I could do it that shit. Yeah, don't you have like a machine? Uh, not when you're running down the hill with a coil of cable. Yeah. But I think you should be using tools. This is like when you're punching stuff and you're not using a tool. I think more often you should be using tools instead of doing it yourself. Yeah. Tools are fun. They're kind of boring, though. Yeah, but you're only, you know, you can wear out your tools and you can't wear out yourself. At least you shouldn't be doing that. Right, right. Well, I played whack-a-mole. Yeah. Made a made a deal into a tool and played whack-a-mole and then fucking um, somebody looked at me and just shook their head, going, "What the fuck? You think that guy'd stop swinging that fucking thing? <laughs> fucking sometime. Nope." You never stopped swinging, even the moles weren't never coming up. Never stopped swinging it. Yeah, the... Because it just went, fuck, I couldn't swing that thing for more than like five minutes. And then I'd have to stop taking a break. I'm like, hell no, I swing that fucker for an hour and a half plus after I found it. And then I went, oh, check this fucker out. Watch this, motherfuckers. Whap, 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 whap. <laughs> fucking, holy fuck, they were jealous. Other people do it too nowadays. They go, fuck, here, check this fucker out. I did, oh, fuck them all. <laughs> it's funny. At the carnival? People, people see me doing that shit, they want to do it too. That's all I got to say about that. I, I, make I, it look, I guess I make it look fun. Are you talking about actual whack-a-mole at the carnival? Um... I can't remember what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, whack-a-mole. Yeah, yeah. Guacamole. Guacamole. Oh, I had some guacamole. Oh, guacamole. I think I bought motherfucking guacamole. What the fuck did I do with that motherfucker? Yeah, is it in the fridge? It must be. Guacamole. I don't think I'll look for that term, bitch, because, uh... I have been having lots of fruit flies lately. <laughs> like, yeah, it, uh, it, it was in the fridge for too long. It's gone bad, maybe, huh? Uh, no, it don't look like nothing down in there. There ain't nothing in there. So I can... What, in the fridge? Yeah, nothing mm -hmm. in the fridge. No guacamole, huh? Just nothing. Nothing. Got... It, it's not hard to fucking see nothing through nothing. Got You don't have any uh, condiments? No. There's fucking nothing. No ground beef, huh? Not even beef? Well, I lied. There's a there's freaking a jug of milk. That's about it. Yeah. Well, you keep the beef in the freezer? Well, I didn't look in the freezer part of it. But, uh, uh, yeah. I wouldn't put a guacamole in. Yeah. What uh, about what about your spaghetti beef? You don't have that in the fridge? You keep that in the freezer or what? I ate the last Saturday today. Oh, uh, what are you going to do? I had to go get some more, but I'm damn near broke, so I think I'll just eat plain spaghetti and or throw some beans in it. Yeah, spaghetti and beans, huh? Till I get paid. Uh-oh. Yep. 
Get in beans. Yeah. Get some money from your neighbor you gave a thousand dollars to. <laughs> Good luck with that. I'm gonna buy you some beef. Uh well when's when when's payday this week? Thursday. Thursday, well you can get I think you'll be okay for three days, two days? Yeah. Yeah, I think I will be too. But spaghetti and beans for three days. It's gonna be real fucking close and I'm gonna be fucking just on the edge. Spaghetti? The other, the other, mor the other morning I was so fucking hungry, I thought I was gonna puke. So I run down fucking somewhere, fucking running this place. They give me some of them gizzards. Thanks, man. Here's 10 bucks. And he gave me back three bucks, and I'm like, out the door, fucking going, what the fuck? Seven dollars worth of gizzards, huh? Yeah. About how many gizzards does that buy you? Well, it's, they're, they cost less than that. Yeah. Um, but at the time, like I said, I felt like I was going to puke right there on the spot, man. Uh, give me a, ball, a, buy a bag of gizzards. Uh, I finally got one down me, and then like five, three or five minutes later, my stomach started feeling less like I was going to puke. Yeah. Then I, ate another, then I ate another one, and then my puke feeling went away, and so I ate another one, and then I put the bag in the refrigerator because I was all full or something, <laughs> feeling full. Chicken gizzards. Yeah. What even is a gizzard? Gizzards are almost like a, I'm not sure, does a chicken have a liver? Or a gizzard is part of where they fucking, that crawl thing, where they fucking digest them seeds and whatnot. The gizzard's a, in there, it's an organ? Yeah. Huh. Um, it's not like a liver for taking shit out of your blood. It's for digesting the seeds. So, but it's what a, a little hell? organ because it's really small. I know the gor the gizzard's only like maybe like half an inch big. They can be an inch and a half long, two uh, inches long. Oh yeah, long they gizzards. Get, they can get massive, actually. I'm like, what the fuck? That's a big old gizzard. Right? Yeah, she never cut that fucker in half. Whatever you fucking uh, cook it, if it's too big, you can't know, cook all the way. Yeah, fried up gizzards. I've had those. They taste good. Tastes like chicken. Yeah, that was great. I love gizzards. Yeah, but it's kind of crazy. I mean, you only get one per chicken, right? There's tons of gizzards. You get like a bag of gizzards. You get like 20 gizzards. It's like 20 birds. Yeah. 20 birds. All yeah. gizzards. Yeah, well, they only, that's about like a portion or a couple portions. And they want to give you a couple portions, so. Yeah. If what you're into eating that, not everybody's into eating gizzards. They don't, but fuck them. I don't really care about them if they don't eat gizzards. They have them in, uh, at the Rainier <laughs> gas station. That's where I got the gizzards. Oh, and in Tumwater on the way to Little Rock, that gas station's got yeah. gizzards. Yep, yep. Pretty good one, too, eh? Uh, yeah, they all taste pretty much the same. It's just like fried chicken. No. Like Some of them are smaller. I like the smaller ones, actually. Yeah, the fried, I mean, it just tastes like fried fried chicken, basically. Like, really fried. They fry, they fry it a lot. Yep, yep, yep. And the seasoning helps in uh, how they season them. Yeah, there's not too much, there's no, like, gas station delis, like, weird little gas station delis. You have to go out to Little Rock or out to Rainier to get to the gas station delis. I don't know why they don't have any in town. Well, they're so far from town that people are normally traveling whenever they're fucking, and when they're traveling, they sometimes just need to pull over and get something to eat. Yeah. And if you got something really good smelling, fucking, they go, what the fuck? That smells really good. I gotta eat some of that. There's Oli Burger. That place is weird. Have you ever been to Oli Burger? I can't say that I even know about it. Where's that? Oli Burger is like kind of by the auto mall. 
on the west side there, kind of west side Tumwater oh, yeah. kind of area, but it's like a gas station, and inside the gas station there's like a, a burger place, but it's kind of, it's not that cheap, it's it's not great, I guess. Oh, uh, well, that's nope, like, I can't say that I've never been there or know about it. It's called Oli Burger, I just saw, it's like on the freeway, it's on one of the signs, and I was like, trying to find the place because I wanted to, you know, it sounded like something I wanted to try, but it wasn't great. It, it, it wasn't great? You found it? I found it. It's in the back of a gas station. It's like, uh-huh. kind of, it's not, it's well, not. by the auto mall. Kind of by the auto mall, yeah. It's fine. Back of a gas station, owned by the auto mall. Yeah. Um, um, trip. Why didn't you just go to that bar across you and instead of going to the auto mall, get off that exit, instead of going to the auto mall, you go across the freeway and you take the second right, because the first right would be the on-ramp to the freaking uh, freeway going the wrong fucking way. Yeah. And the second right is a road that goes down, straight down there. Uh, to the office. From what I can remember, the, the office, office bar. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's where you go get some food. Burgers. Yeah, it's probably better. Yeah. That's the SPSCC bar. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah. It's probably better food. That, that, that's why that place isn't that great, just because there's so many burgers everywhere. So. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's hard to say. Yeah. Uh, I came up with an idea for a game today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's on the same theory though of something I've seen before. Uh huh. So it's kind of a shit idea. However, you could fucking uh, make it quite a bit different nowadays with uh, because I should I should almost just tell you what it is so that people can go make money off of it. Uh-huh. And, uh, but fuck that shit. Um, hell no, fucking... Fuck everyone, man. You're not gonna... I don't wanna, I'm not telling anybody. Uh, fuckers. Yeah, you made up a game? Yeah, they took my woman, and now I got no one to be around. And I, and I might have to just go bribe her or fucking... Try to do that fucking this for that thing. Uh, bribing is, uh, you know, that's like prostitution. Well, what do you think fucking having a girlfriend or being married is? Um. Same fucking thing. Well, not necessarily. You're, you're, pay, you're paying for it. I guess. Motherfucker, believe you fucking me. Yeah, all right. They're paying for it. Well, you, you better get more money. I know you don't. You barely have enough money to survive through the next three days. You're gonna get some money to to try to bait a woman. Yeah, well, like I said, I've been done gave all my fucking money away already. Yeah. So fucking, if I wasn't been stupid like that, except for I, I did want to get out from underneath that one thing. I'm, I'm, I'm out of it. Dude. Fucking not a problem. You don't give a fuck, so. Yeah, all right. Um, it ain't, it's not come between us, like, um, you're kind of a jackass. You didn't give me enough of that fucking shit, right? What's the game? Uh, I want to say so bad. Well, it's, yeah, you, it's... I... I don't think anybody is going to steal your game on the program, but I don't believe that you have a game if you're not going to say what it is, so. That sounds to me like you want me to tell you what the game is. I don't I don't believe there is a game. It's a computer game. Uh-huh, yeah. And I don't know that much about computers. Okay. Which is really easy for people to steal it from me if I fucking don't fucking come shit about computers. Okay. So I should tell you, I should tell you because they were saying that, um, I'm fucking what they were saying, um, 
Oh, fuck it. Uh, you're going to make me do it, aren't you? Yeah. God damn it. Okay, so... What the fuck was I think? What is that game, then? Yeah. Because of the way nowadays they have it where you can uh, get online and shit, you train your little fucking... What's the, what are them fucking things called? The fucking, uh, oh, they're not icons. They're fucking uh, little people walking around. What are them fucking things called? Avatar. Avatars, that's it. So you train your little avatar, and then you take your little avatar over, and you hook it to these other people's fucking, to the gaming system, and you can fight your avatar against other people's avatars. Yeah. And then you take their shit. Yeah, that sounds like Warcraft. Does it? Yeah. Huh. You don't know Warcraft? I have no clue what Warcraft is. They just like running around. Hello? Well, they got their character. Yeah. They got their character and then they're running around in the game and gaining points and fighting each other and stuff. Yeah, but in that same respect, I'm like, you know, there's shit like that probably out there, but uh, are they doing it for like monies? And you're taking their money. They, uh, and, they have people put money into it. I think people buy and trade with real money sometimes for stuff in the game. Hmm. A little bit. And what the fuck else was that about? It was something else. Um... Which was, it was supposed to make it freaking halfway interesting. You're supposed to fucking train that little fucker. Yeah, there's training. You can go... F you, you, I think in the game you go fight like... Uh... Oh, I was playing Risk. And if, like, I'm playing Risk and, they, you know, how the, how the computer plays games against itself and learns fucking where, you know? Yeah. So you're supposed to teach your avatar, and you teach it. It can't. It only learns from you. Yeah, it's, right? this is sounding. I mean, this is like StarCraft, Warcraft, The Sims, Second Life. Uh, lots of games like that. Huh. Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go. Huh? Sounds yep. like. I don't know. All that, all that kind of like sounds like what I you're talking about. I what I'm thinking about is old fucking news, you know? Yep. Fuck <laughs> off. Sounds like all that stuff to me. Sounds like I'm trying to steal somebody else's shit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, all these games. People are really hooked into those games. I never got into that into those games, but people are really into those games. Yeah, yeah, sounds like I'm way fucking too late for that shit. Yeah, just about uh, t 25 years. Yeah, late. about 25 years. Yeah. They started doing that stuff a long time ago. In the computers. StarCraft right. 1, I think, came out in the, yeah, I think it was like, nine, yeah, 95 maybe, so. Yep. All right. Well, okay. what are you, you working? You got to work? You got to go to sleep? I'm going to be working tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, yeah, what, you had to go, what time you have to wake I up? I work too hard today, boy. Yeah? Punch, Fuck off. Punching? I'm a fucking bitch. Punching? Um, I did a little bit of that, but I did a lot of picking up heavy shit. Stacking? Well, no. Uh, more on the unstacking side. Yeah, unstacking, punching, unstacking, and unstacking. Unstacking and moving it way the hell over there and fucking setting it down, that's all. Yeah. And give it to somebody, I just give that shit to somebody else and let them do it, but I had to move a lot of that shit. 
Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what? all I can think just about today. What time you have to wake I up? Fucking, I should have fucking started, like, trying to pick them up, use them like goddamn um, them weightlifting fucking bars. Yeah, a tool? Fuck they sent this guy standing in my way all the fucking time. Who's Every time I turn around, this motherfucker standing in my way. Who? Oh, fucking dude, motherfucker. You just never seen anything like it. Every fucking time I turn around, I'm ready to go. No, nope, no, nope, you gotta wait for that motherfucker. Cause he turned around, and he's still standing there, fucking dicking around, going, hmm. Maybe I should hold this uh, fucker for a while, and uh, you're behind me, so whatever, I don't know. Not that he's even thinking of that shit. <laughs> fucking, he ain't thinking nothing. Obviously, because he's still down there. Yeah. He eventually get, got, got rid of his shit and then moved off to the side slowly here in the motherfucker, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he, moves by, he moves like a fucking snail, motherfucker. Too slow for you. He's way fucking too slow for me. He irks me. <laughs> I don't like working with him or being around him that much just because he's so fucking slow on that end uh, if he's in front of me. He's slowing you down. That's right, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, Not that I fucking totally fucking minded because the fucking shit was heavy <laughs> and but I didn't hurt, I don't hurt right now, so. Yeah, well, you don't get paid anymore for doing more of the work, so maybe you should slow down. No fucking way, man. Yeah. All right. Why would I want to do that? Um, so you get more. I've been laying around for fucking 15 fucking years, motherfucker. Oh, yeah, but you're trying to get the most. Doctor, if... The doctor, motherfuckers, is kind of, I would really like to fucking kick. In half, and then fucking put some jalapeno peppers in that motherfucker. Yeah. God damn. Fuck. What the fuck were they thinking, leaving me in pain for fucking 15 years? Yeah. Should have. Who fucking does that? They want you wanted to be a drug addict. Fuck you. Yeah. Um, now I want to fucking, I can't say that shit, fuckers. I can't even say what I want to fucking do to you because fucking people would shit. Let me tell you. Yeah. You wanted to. Uh, All over themselves. Drugs from the doctors. They didn't give them to you. But now, but you're better now. I'm just, get, I'm finally, just today, like two fucking days, right fucking now, I'm feeling like. Virtually no pain. Yeah. However, up until right fucking, fucking right fucking now, there's been pain. Yeah. Fuck off, man. And the majority of that pain up until a fucking until several months ago, or last year, whenever I started gaining some strength quite a bit, but, uh, I hurt like a son of a bitch, and they should have been giving me drugs for just the hurting like a son of a bitch part of it. Yeah, fuck. yeah. I mean, who the fuck do they think they are, man? But now, I don't have pain that much, and I would just like to choke everybody I fucking see, because fucking they're <laughs> fucking assholes. Oh, oh, no, that's not a good feeling. Probably. The wanting to choke people. That can't oh. be fun. It's almost like the doctor put me in pain himself. Right? Uh, yeah. Almost. Because he had a chance to get me away from that, but then chose to not do that. Because he made a choice in his head that says, oh, I heard this joke once, you, you fucking tell them the pages of their head, yeah. and fucking, then they fucking won't fucking hurt no more. That what? didn't work. 
that backfired like a fucking cannon. Uh-huh. Um, God damn. I'm thinking about suing him for that. It's fucking, that is fucking malpractice of all kinds of malpractice if I ever heard it. Yeah, because you didn't get the drugs. You gotta get it. It's totally fucking saying I'm a stupid fucker. I couldn't fucking come up with what's wrong with you if I tried. And all the years I went to fucking college are wasted. Yeah, there was um, something wrong. Huh? You pop that. You, your hips are out of place. You had to pop them back and, in. And because the untold part, there's a war on drugs, and I don't want to get involved in it. Which means if I hook you up with drugs, I'm involved in drugs. Uh, I don't want to be involved in it because the coppers are after everybody right now. Yeah, that Fuck war on drugs is pretty bad. It's fucking the doctors over. Some of them doctors I've seen, they got fucking, what, what, what is that called whenever? Empathy for people? Sympathy? Empathy? Either one. There's some more, yeah. They feel for you if you're in pain. Yeah. And then you get these unscrupulous coppers that go, fuck. They're not in pain at all. And they walk in that motherfucking place and go, oh. I'm in pain. Oh, I hurt so bad. Oh, can I get him some painkillers, please? And then if the guy gives them to him, they bust him, fucking giving them painkillers they don't need. Yeah, it's uh, hard. It's hard to tell the difference. I mean, what kind of a fucking setup is that? It's a uh, fucker ever did that. <laughs> you don't even fucking ah oh, fucking holy fuck. I gotta shut the fuck up. Fucking somebody figures out what the fuck I can do to them. <laughs> yeah, it's like entrapment or something. Yeah, exactly. But they do that kind of oh, stuff all the time. But then they still bust the fucking fucking doctors. Then they go, oh, we're going through your record. Oh, we are going to decide that that guy over there, like me, if they would have given me drugs, they would have decided that me did not deserve the fucking drugs and that fucking that guy is dirty. And now he got to go to jail. Yeah. And, and then I'm all still fucked up over there. They're like, you want to commit a crime? Lucky, lucky. I am so fucking lucky. I don't need them no more. Yeah. Because I, I would hope that I would have fucking went in there and shot the fuckers for that shit. No. Uh, yeah. But at least I'm not. I don't have to do that no more because I don't need the shit. Yeah, it's the system, though. You know, they they don't want to get in trouble with the law either. So. Yeah, well, that shouldn't leave me in pain for 15 fucking years. Yeah. It's like having your it's like having your arm or your elbow or your something dislocated for fucking 15 years. <coughs> Do you know what something dislocated feels like? Yeah, how did, I don't know how they didn't find that. Didn't they X-ray your hips and stuff? They did a fucking MRI, motherfucker. How did they not figure it out when they just get popped back in? Them fucking cunts, they don't fucking know shit. They don't even know how to read an MRI in the first fucking place. Okay. If fucking even an MRI could fucking be what the fucking was on me. Fucking, I don't fucking know. Yeah. If I, it seemed to me that the muscle kind of unfolded or something. Oh, right? okay. So it, uh, can they tell if something's folded over? I guess not. Uh, if they can't tell if something's crinkled or folded over, fucking, they worthless fucking sons of bitches. Fucking. Yeah. I, I, should, I should bitch slap every fucking one of them. Oh. All right. Almost makes me want to go be a doctor, except for... Why? <laughs> well, you get a lot of money, I'm a doctor. No. You get fucking, you go to jail for giving people painkillers when you're a doctor. Yeah, there's a lot of risks. Um, yep. And I guess I didn't look like the type of person they wanted to help enough. That sucks. It must have been that. Yeah, I gotta go get a suit and then ask for drugs. Yeah, I guess I should have walked in there. 
looking like I didn't need anything <laughs> or uh, like uh, my mom always wanted me to wear a suit because uh, she was a millionaire. She's like, you should wear a suit. I'm a millionaire. You should wear a suit. Fuck you being a millionaire and I should wear a suit. Fuck you. Your mom's a millionaire? Used to be. What happened? Every, everybody, whenever my grandpa died, everybody got uh, two million, I think. A little what? over two million. Hey, I fucking... Did I tell you there was a fucking oil company in my fucking family? Yeah, you are going to go join it. You... The... Huh? You were thinking about joining the oil company, but they didn't let you in because you wanted to be a Catholic. Why did you be a Catholic, right? I don't want to be a motherfucking Catholic, and she's a fucking witch. Yeah, but I, I you know, I, I, for a million dollars, you don't want to just pretend to be a Catholic? No, fucking not a fucking chance, motherfucker. I think it's worth a million dollars to fake being a Catholic. I definitely would do that. I'd beat her up for a million. Yeah, I would fake being a Catholic for a million dollars. I'll make her do no, I wouldn't. Sorry. She got to live the rest of this life all on his fucking own. I don't want nothing to do with them people. Yeah. Yeah, but then you could have a million dollars. Hmm. And on the end of that fucking thing, like, they said, want me to come down there and run that company again. Can't, yeah. Well, that sounds like huh? a good... Can't you just fake being a Catholic for like... Like a year, and then get all the money, and then quit? Um, I wouldn't. I would hate to be thought of even trying to be a Catholic. Yeah, but then you get a million dollars. Fuck you. Don't want your money. And that's what I... See, didn't you hear the part where I gave up? I did not want a Humvee an H2? I did not want a piece of property. I said, no. Yeah, but don't you want to, like, beef? <laughs> then you don't have to eat beans. Well, see, I was crippled. Yeah. I thought I was going to die. I didn't have any way to fucking make money for myself. I didn't have any way to fucking nothing. I was, I was asking the state for money. And I said the money that I was getting from my mom was a loan. And then my mom went in, they called my mom and said, is that a loan? And she said, no, that's not a loan. I'm just giving him the money. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. So now they think I'm a fucking liar. Uh-huh. And now here I am paying back the motherfucking money. Hey, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck everyone! Yeah. Fuck my mother, my religious mother, who fucking tried to be so fucking out of this world fucking honest that fucking... She's like, oh no, it's not alone. He'll never have to pay me back. No, 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 no. Um... Oh. You mean I am paying you back? And... You were a fucking cut ass bitch telling them I'm a fucking liar? Uh, no good. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> fuck your uh, fucking cut in your fucking face. Oh, that's too Shut bad. Shut your fucking hole. Don't right. fucking call me a liar. I wasn't lying. Tell the if, truth. If, I, if whatever fucking happened, happened like it fucking happened, Jesus, fuck, like I ever fucking thought that would happen. Yeah. Fuck it, but fucking here I am. Wow. And fucking now it turns back into a fucking loan. Shut the fuck up. The uh, only fucking thing you did was make me look like an asshole in front of the people I was fucking asking for help. And if I ever had to go back there and ask for help, you know what they're going to say? Oh, you're a liar. Because yeah. you said that was a loan and it wasn't. But then my mom's going to be dead and she's not going to go back and say, oh, he, he really did pay. 
you pay him back. Sorry, it was a loan. <laughs> it's a loan. It's a loan because I need the money now. It's a loan. Yeah. Oh, fuck. It's kind of fuck it sounds you. like a miss. That's all I gotta say is fuck the hell off. I hate you people. <laughs> sounds like a miscommunication. My mother and them people down at that fucking place that fucking shut the fuck up. PSHS. Yeah, that's, wherever that that's fucking semantics. Get out, you know, them fucking people. Oh fuck! I was asking for help. They told me I was too young. That's 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 what do they call that again? Age discrimination. Too they discriminate against me because of my age. Uh -huh. Fuck you! Fuck you! You stupid sons of fucking whores! You fucking people down there in Centralia. They are the ones. They said I was too young. They couldn't help me out. Get away. And I was so fucked, I should have just committed suicide right in their fucking place. Uh, now I'll show them. <laughs> now I fucking taught them a lesson. Yeah. Not really. They didn't yeah. give a fuck anyway. Yeah, they I don't think that. they would care. They'd, they'd, be yeah. they'd be, like, happy about it. Um, well, yeah, they would be. Yeah. They'd probably get paid money. More money. I got to I got to yeah. Okay, you go call some motherfucker else. All right, thanks for talking today, Mr. Ginsu. We'll talk to you later. Keep leaving those messages. We'll think about it. All right, bye. Bye. Mr. Ginsu. <laughs> wow, that was a long one. Saying things, lots of things. Uh, I guess we better call Freddie the producer and Mark the guitar player. Gene left another message. The old fellas leaving messages. Lots of people are. I guess we'll call Freddie first, the producer. Mm, this one. Ring a ding a ding, Fred. E. Please leave your message for Frederick Doble. Hey, Freddie, it's the program. You can call us back. You have about 12 minutes today to see if you make it. All right, bye. <laughs> Somebody's yelling outside. You're very mad. Oh. Sounds like Mr. Ginsu. This is Grandma. Hello? Hi. Hi, Grandma. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm okay. I don't know if uh, he's a homo or not. Probably at work. He worked, didn't I? Yeah, I think he's at work probably. Yeah. So, what? How are you? Good. Uh, yeah, I'm calling you to make sure you, you got, you drinking water? Yeah, I, I got to drink water, huh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, no, I better go get the water now. I forgot. Did you uh, eat dinner? Huh? Did you eat dinner today? Yeah, I'm by myself. Yeah, but did you eat any food too? You gotta eat food and drink water, okay? Okay. Thank you for calling. I'll drink water. Don't worry about it. And uh, when are you going to see you? Uh, Sunday. Sunday. What day today? Monday. When today? Mon today's Monday. Huh? Monday. When? Today? Today Sunday? No, Monday. Today's Monday. Oh, today Monday. Whole week I gotta see you. Huh? Yeah, I, I was there. I was there yesterday though. We went. We went to the okay. Korean restaurant. So. Okay. Thanks for call. Talk to you later. Okay. Okay. Take bye. Care. Yeah. Bye. Bye bye. Grandma.
All right, look at uh, uh, then Mark, the guitar player, left several messages. Uh oh. So something's wrong. Something is wrong with TCTV. Kenny, channel 22 is all messed up. Uh -oh. it's, it's, it's not playing forward. It's like skipping, going over and over and over and over and over. And it's not, it's not reeling in. Uh oh. It's, it's just, it's all messed up. It's, it's something wrong with the channel, and we didn't get our your daily hour with me. Uh oh. I'll talk to you later. Bye. That's no good, Mark. Thanks for checking in on it, though. Oh, let's listen to the next messages and maybe see if it got fixed. I guess last night you could have called it a, a glitch because there was something wrong with the TV and it seems to be working fine now. But it kind of startled me when I saw it is because it was like going over and over on the piano when they had the words there. Yeah. So I didn't really know what it was. But, Scary, huh, Mark? Uh, I guess the TV's fine now, but Fix uh, we didn't get our your daily hour with me on both the 11:30 or the two. So I'll talk to you later. Give me a call if you can. Bye. I can, Mark, but I guess I'm gonna call TCTV first. Well, I wonder if they know about it. I don't know the TCTV number actually. So let's just call Mark and see what's up with the channel now. We got five minutes left today. Oh, stuff's happening out there. Um, channel A is messed up. Oh, where am I going? Uh, we're back here at the studio. And we got I'm sorry. This mailbox has not yet been set up by the subscribe. Sorry? Please try again later. Goodbye. Sorry. Sorry, nothing. You don't know. You don't know what you're sorry about. Oh, it's Friday. We're going to get to uh, the recent one so that we can uh, record the new one. Past it. Yeah, Sunday with Jen and Freddie and Jackson. Moving this one over. And this. And uh, record this one. Hey, future, it's us, the past. It's Monday. Today we're talking to Mr. Ginsu for like 40 minutes. He's, um, you know, mad about the regular kind of things, eating chicken gizzards, and uh, that was mostly what happened. Mark said the channel was messed up, but he didn't answer the phone, and that message thing is a liar, too. So you can 
Call us back. Look, I'm going to see you tomorrow. Look at that. All right. Bye, future. Hello, this is Jean Squires from oh, hi, Jean. Massachusetts. I don't know where my cat is right now. Um, just sitting and looking at Facebook. How horrible. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Speaking of the devil, it says that someone who does the program likes Grocery Outlet on my Facebook. Creepy. Um, that's it. Tell me. It's the devil! Here it is, 835. That means it's 535 there. Uh, nothing interesting to say. Sorry, goodbye. Bye! Alright. Let's take a look at a couple of these. Uh, we only have about four minutes left, so we'll look at five of these. So we're gonna go to Monday, Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Wednesday, oh, Thursday. We're gonna go back to last Thursday. I don't know what was going on last Thursday, but we're going to find out right here. And then that'll probably be it for the show. We got a lot of Mr. Ginsey messages, like oh, 12, 12 or 13, but we listened to them. We talked to Mr. Ginsey for 40 minutes instead of listening to those messages. I don't know when we're going to get to those. Friday, Thursday, that was the one we're going to be looking at. This is the next one right here, Thursday. Past. Hello, oh, we're talking to Gene on Thursday. Uh, <laughs> uh, talk to Gene after weeks. Weeks and weeks. We talk about the booth and the new development of the booth, even though it's not new anymore. Yeah. Uh, and soup. You can't and sleep. Stuff. Gene's uh, getting a roof done. Yeah, it sounds like a giant popper. Popcorn popper ish. My, my house is one. Yeah. It's Thursday. Bye, future. Bye. Okay. Hey, future, it's us, the past. Hi. That's right. Look at this, it's cutting the chain. Today's the day that the Boyer had its grand opening. Well, how long is the chain cutting? It goes take? pretty fast. Uh, we're here. Yo. Yeah. Oh, it's looking glitchy, but. Cut the chain. Hurry. I'm going to do a message with future. Ready? It's kind of going slow. Yeah! Nice. Woo! All right. Bye, future. Bye. Bye. Future, how long have we been looking outside? It's us. Too long. Past. Here. Can we just talk to Fred on the bus. Um, Dr. Mark, guitar player, he's doing nothing. Staring at the wall. Staring at the wall, huh, Mark? We weren't very impressed. Hey, future, it's us of the past. Hello. We uh, looked at these uh, zines today, and we talked to Mark about football, and Jen and Jackson Frey are all here, and... Uh, There's a Tesla parked across the street. It's still there. Talking still there. Toilet paper issues. Oh, uh, toilet bit. paper, yeah. Yeah. roommates. Um, all right, bye, future. Bye. It was yesterday, here's today. Hey. Future, it's us, the past. Oh, hi, past. It's Monday. Today we're talking to Mr. Ginsu for like 40 minutes. He's um, you know, mad about the regular kind of things, eating chicken gizzards, and uh, that was mostly what happened. Mark said the channel was messed up, but he didn't for the phone, and that message thing is a liar, too. So, you can call us back with me tomorrow. All right, bye, future. Bye. All right, let's see Carm go by in the front of there. and Say goodbye to tonight's episode. Thanks, Mr. Ginsu. Thanks for talking to us today. Thanks, Mark, for the messages and Grandma in the past. And, uh, you know, maybe is it good or bad that Mr. Ginsu to get all the drugs and be a drug addict now? Maybe he'd be in the gutter asking for dollars and stuff. He has, now he has a job and he's got spaghetti and beans and stuff. Could have gotten a million dollars. What's that? 
thing outside that's like the awning. It's made out of wood. Where's all the cars? I wanted to like look at a car, but there's, there's me now. And the camera is drifting. But uh, there's a car back there, way back there. But where's the one that on this main street? Oh, there's one. All right, causing the camera to move out a little bit. So we made it though. It's another. Uh, you know, we still have seconds, but. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna like oh <laughs> right there I like have a heart attack like right before uh, the show's over so thank thank you Hark for beating oh, keeping me alive here keeping yourself alive Dum, 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 dum. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's Monday. We're on TC TV Channel 22 at 11:30 and 2 a.m. Check that out. Yeah, whitechipium.com. 360-836-384. Call me a message. Get on TV. 109 State Avenue, number three. That's our address. Check it out. Yeah. UFOPI, it's a good song, thank you. TCTV, a baby, Dirty Fabulous, Graham Graham, Stop the Fire Con, John Mopster, this is County, Washington State, USA, thank you, and viewers, this year watching, thank you. Hell yeah, dog! Bye!